Hello, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and citizens of the Empire. Welcome back to more Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, this is the <laughs> Knights of the Fallen Empire DLC, and we're back to come clear out this fucking ship that we found out in the middle of a swamp. So let's go commit an animal kill. Oh, no, we'll get him. Very surprised many of them can take the full brunt of the force. But you know how that goes, video game enemies. They fucking select. They'll be all wonky just because he's like a cat. surprised that an HK unit didn't pop up in Shadow of Revan, but, you know, it kind of makes sense, I guess. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Clearing these things out? Very easy! Clearing them out easy. You having fun, Carl? I guess they're coming up. Can I select that one? Why is it being weird? There we go. Sometimes the game is weird. It was also updated uh, this morning, too. I don't know what the hell they were doing. I think it was like, you know, shit gets wonky when you update it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Back to full health. Let's take all of it. Oh, body parts. Got you covered. Yeah, he set the heels, so I don't know what the problem is. But it's, it's going now. Fall. 
belt and some crap. Oh shit. Just for safekeeping. And also, we don't need them in the ship. Open the door, please. The Endless Swamp. After the damage you inflicted, they couldn't have made a safe landing anywhere else. And if they didn't make a safe landing? We'll know soon enough. Sky Troopers, sweep the area. Focus on regions with high metallic sensor readings. I oversaw security in the Carbonite prison. I... I humbly submit myself to answer for this failure. I didn't like his answer. Your sister's a psychopath, dude. So this ship has been here for a thousand years. More. Right. It's amazing that it's in such good condition, considering. Judging by the damage I've seen, the stories are true. Whoever built the gravestone scuttled it themselves after the Eternal Fleet was defeated. It wasn't shot down. The fleet was defeated but not destroyed. Valkorion brought it back under his own control more than a century ago. Exactly. The Eternal Fleet is totally automated. Nobody knows who first built it. And every theory is crazier than the last. Renegades left behind after a successful droid revolution. Representatives of an entire race of droids from somewhere beyond the edge of the known galaxy. Like I said, crazy stuff. But no matter where it came from, the Eternal Fleet is practically unstoppable. So and Arkin controls every single ship from the throne. Yeah, basically just droids. Um, so Arkin's our target. Obviously he's our target. He's been trying to kill me for God knows how long. Uh, why didn't Valkorion use the fleet? If Valkorion has had this unstoppable fleet for more than a century, why didn't he use it to help the Sith Empire defeat the Republic? We can only theorize. Uh, if the war was just part of a ritual to make the Emperor truly immortal, perhaps using the fleet would have interfered somehow. Regardless, we have many other things to discuss. I owe you five years' worth of explanations. And I'm gonna need some parts to get this thing moving again. Locating supplies and fresh water would also be wise. Uh, she's a psychopath that does the same stuff on your sorcerer. Look, I didn't say the Sith weren't psychopaths either. I'll help you find what we need, Lana. Very well. Assertion. I will begin a patrol pattern to ensure that no enemy forces report our position. Get to it. Alright. Oh, there's a medical droid here. Can I, can I? Thank you. So, um, I can go. Probably replace that with this and the Should feel better now. Eh, nah. Fuck that. Bye. Boom. Goodbye, droid. Back into the jungle we go, or swamp, swamp jungle. Really, what's the difference on, other than the like size of the water table? Okay, so I'm going back through here. Okay. Oh shit! Same way I came down. It's a dumb question, Tyler. <laughs> ah, fuck. Don't you just hate when allergies fuck up year round? 
There's not even an allergy season anymore. It's just a constant assault on your senses. There we go. Oh. Holy hell. Ugh. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Cause I can just feel it in the back of my nose, and it won't come out. It's stuck. Sort of like the ship. But if this stays here for a thousand years, I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, there's the phase. Medical dredge is out in the swamp. Alright, so, get the groundwater readings. There's one over this way. Excuse me, you were in the way! had to spawn in too late to get When he was struck down, it released ripples through the Force. Everyone who had felt the Sith Emperor's presence in the past, on Zyast, on Yavin 4, we all sensed what had happened. Arkan invaded soon after, claiming that an outlaw man had assassinated his father, the immortal Emperor. It didn't take long for us to unravel the truth. Which side did Arkan attack first? Both. Ships from the Eternal Fleet struck at shipyards and rallying points for both sides simultaneously. Shit. They favored ambush tactics throughout the war. The Kulin sensor technology has far greater range than our own, and their ships can fly much further on less resources. Only vessels retrofitted with Isotope 5 could manage to outrun them. None could truly compete. Sounds like the Empire did better than the Republic. 
Which is both good and bad. Because if we're ever going to wipe them out at one point, you know, that's good. But right now, that's not great. and the Empire managed to hold out. Within three months, the bulk of our naval forces were disabled or eliminated, Jesus. and the Republic was in the same situation. With naval superiority, Arkham's forces could begin choking off supply lines, trade, any ship travel at all. The Eternal Fleet seemed to be everywhere at once. Coruscant and Drummond Cast were blockaded by the end of the first year. The Empire will rise again, of course. Over my dead body, of course, it will have to happen. You cannot stop me from making my home prosper. Can you not spawn endlessly, please? Guess that was too much to ask. There we go. Thank God. How did it end? The members of the Dark Council fought Arkans' invasion ruthlessly and lost. The Empire's treaty was ultimately negotiated by the Minister of Logistics. Chancellor Suresh also refused to discuss surrender, but the Republic Senate managed to overrule her. A cadre of senators negotiated their own ceasefire terms. All of those senators have since been disgraced or dismissed. I'm sure you can imagine the likely culprit. Uh, what of my power base? Moff Pyron. The silencers. Many of the vessels equipped with the silencers were lost in the initial fighting. The rest disappeared along with the Pyrans somewhere in the far outer rim. It is presumed that they were ambushed by the Eternal Fleet, but no wreckage has been found. We must carry on without them. So far, the treaties with Zakul have held. But that will not last forever. We should at least try to find the silencers. They could be useful. Plus, you know, I want my my project back. <laughs> well, it's gonna be great. Uh, this way. There we go. My personal face. Good. It.
Freshwater spring. It should be safe for drinking. So the Eternal Fleet overwhelmed both the Republic and the Empire. What was the result? Both sides are forced to pay a heavy tribute to Zakul, mainly raw materials and resources. They're also held under an arms limitation statute. The Empire and the Republic are both breaking it, of course, but they're still incapable of challenging the throne directly. Who rules the Empire now? Darth Asina was the only Dark Council member left standing. All others died or disappeared in the chaos. Without opposition, she declared herself Empress of the Sith. And the Republic? Suresh remains in power, though she no longer holds the title of Chancellor. The Republic has limits to their ruler's terms but her replacement is a mere puppet. Both sides see this only as an opportunity to eliminate one another at a time of weakness, instead of combining what strength they have. Yeah, it's kind of what you do. Arkhan does nothing to prevent violence between them, so long as their tribute is paid and no one challenges Zakul's superiority. Asina cannot stand against me. Take me back to the Empire, and I'll hold the throne in a matter of hours. Neither Empress Asina nor the Republic are our most pressing concern. We cannot make use of their resources yet. Powerful Zakulan battle stations have been placed in orbit around key worlds to watch for possible uprisings. 
but there are no ongoing planetary occupations. The ships of the Eternal Fleet simply patrol at random, while the tribute paid to Zakul gradually chokes all economic potential. What about my team? My ship? I have allies looking for them as we speak. With all of the chaos of the last few years, though, it will take time to find them all. Right. For now, we make do with ourselves, Koth, and HK. As long as you're here, there's nothing we can't handle. The feeling's mutual. It truly is a relief to see you again. Is that why you went to so much trouble to rescue me? Before you were captured, you accomplished things no one else dared to attempt. You changed the galaxy more than once. And if things have ever needed to change, now is the time. But... There is something else. I've felt it since the moment I found you in Carbonite. There's a power in you. Something new. It's elusive, but I know it's there. Oh shit, that's right, we haven't told her yet. I think you're right, Lana. I think the Emperor, Valkorium, is in my mind. What? After he died, there was a storm of energy. I barely even remember being thrown into the carbon freezing chamber. And then, while I was frozen, I saw things. Dreamed about him. About everything that happened while I was gone. It can't be. If he were controlling you, I'd know it. I certainly saw enough of it on Zyost. This is way different. I don't think he's trying to control me. Not directly, anyway. He was trying to convince me to work with him. Whatever he's doing, we can be sure that he's always trying to deceive us somehow. Oh, yeah. I believe in you. And I appreciate your honesty. I'll remain watchful for any influence he might have over you. For the time being, though, we have no choice but to proceed. What about the others? They wouldn't understand. And like you said, we really don't know anything for sure yet. Let's keep the matter between us for now. All right. Salutation. It is a pleasure to see you again so soon, Masters. I have encountered minimal resistance in my patrol. How minimal? Reassurance. Only one Sky Trooper and three local predators with poor survival instincts. <laughs> Our position appears to be secure at this time, but I would still advise caution on your return trip, Masters. Keep up the good work, HK. Appreciation. It will be my pleasure to do so, Master. One HK droid. I have one, but I want one. All right, let's get back to the ship. Okay. Come on, Carl. What do you want doing this? Scrap of metal and giant piece of junk. I don't care what the legends say, it's junk until we get it working. Hey there. Did you find something tasty? We definitely found something. Great. I've got a pretty good idea of the parts we'll need. Let's go see what we can find. Exploring the swamps once again. Okay, that door is locked. That door is locked. Okay, maybe we should... Oh, now it's unlocked. Go ahead. Alright, don't get annoying, Carl. Get on a speeder bike and just just end up on the other side of the school because that's fucking bad. <laughs> oh, just up the ridge. Okay. Scattered shipwrecks didn't 
drop parts? I can't imagine anything that wasn't recently dropped survives in this fucking swamp. care of it, Carl. We haven't even technically gotten to the surgery yet. Oh, here's, here's one. Films elaborate, please. Do they technically like not have one? Because I assume they were created by the force and just can reproduce. Thank you. Body parts. It will make good food or something to sell. Oh, 
Take more damage, you dick. Around this corner. Defeat the Hula. what? It sounds like an accident. It's destiny. I ditch all these parts before we crash, we find the gravestone, and then what do we need to get it flying? Honestly, it's plain as day. Not for Lana, though. For her, it's all just skill and luck and coincidence. She's right, you know. Relying on fate to get you out of trouble will always leave you disappointed. Better to rely on yourself. I can't believe you two. Just wait and see. I know I'm right on this. Lon has told me about thing. all the things you've done. More than once. Half the reason I agreed to this crazy rescue was to see if you were actually real. So, I figure I know all about your past. You deserve to know mine. Lana might have told you I was the captain of a warship during Arkin's campaign against the Core Worlds. My crew and I deserted, but I'm not going to pretend we didn't do our share of damage beforehand. Just thought you should hear it from me. Lana mentioned that you deserted instead of following orders. What was the order? We were holding territory on Denon. Locals rioted and orders were to open fire until they stopped. None of us even wanted to be there. Massacring civilians? That's not how Sakul is supposed to operate. I guess that's how Arkin operates. Which is why he has to go. One more thing, as long as we're being honest. I know things were hairy back there, but a lot of innocent people died. A lot. That's not what I signed up for. I'm in this to save Zakul from Arkin, not to tear it down with him. I need to know that you're on board with that too. Didn't really have time to fix that. You're absolutely right. I won't let any more innocent people suffer because of Arkin and Valen, no matter where they're from. Thank you. Come on, let's get this stuff back to the gravestone. Yep. Please rendezvous at my current coordinates at your earliest convenience, Masters. I require assistance. Blasted droid. Uh-oh. HK's in trouble? Or at least just requires assistance. But it could mean trouble for the rest of us. Oh, shit. I don't know if you guys heard that, but holy hell. Us. What the hell is going on here? What did you do to them? Protestation. I have done nothing to these pitiable meat bags, Master. They were merely <laughs> bystanders when I destroyed a group of sky troopers. They requested our help in escaping the enemy's notice. Please, we are no danger to you. We were exiled for protesting Emperor Arkhan's war. 
We've already lost two of our friends. Please, is there anything you can do for us? Uh... The gravestone does need a crew. Well, Koth said he has a crew. So we don't really need them. We have more important things to do. Deal with your own problems. I have a bit of food on me. Here. I wish we could do more. He'll weigh us down. Okay, back to the graves. I mean, if I had taken them with us, I guarantee half of them would have died in a firefight in a cutscene. <laughs> You're sure we can make it fly again? She'll fly. Just been waiting for somebody to come along and remind her how. Let's get to work then. Good work, buddy. Love you.
Wait, is HK my compa- He's my companion right now, that's great. Keep moving. Okay. Oh shit, that's right. We got like four pieces of mail. Random guild invitation. Oh, oh shit. Okay, so sell some of the fucking random shit we got. Go. I guess we'll keep this for a bit, but probably won't find the use for it, so we'll probably end up selling it later. Take it, you have questions. Plenty. 